a group of nearly 200 former North Korean soldiers who defected from the North Korea and are now living in South Korea are insisting on being relocated to Ukraine to begin a psychological warfare campaign against their former comrades. According to SCMP, each of these soldiers has between 7 and 10 years of military experience. Now they are seeking to use their insider knowledge of the North Korean army to undermine and demoralize the troops that will fight against Ukraine by exploiting their psychological vulnerabilities. We are all military veterans who understand North Korea's military culture and psychological state better than anyone else, said 69-year-old An Chang-il. He currently heads the World Institute for North Korea Studies and is also an honorary professor at the Cybernetics Open University of Korea. He stressed the readiness of former soldiers for deployment. We are willing to go anywhere to work as psychological warfare agents through loudspeakers, distributing leaflets and even acting as translators, said An Chang-il. Lee Min-bok made his appeal directly to the Ukrainian government, publishing an open letter to the Ukrainian embassy in Seoul. The former military man asked President Volodymyr Zelensky to help rescue North Korean soldiers, whom he called cannon fodder. North Korean soldiers are there essentially as mercenaries, but we could go as volunteers on a goodwill mission. Simply, our presence in Ukraine could significantly affect the morale of the North Korean troops, says Lee Min-bok. So far, the Ukrainian embassy in Seoul has not responded to the proposal and the South Korean Foreign Ministry referred the matter to the Unification Ministry, which has not provided any comment. North Korean soldiers can find hope and courage in our presence in Ukraine, which will inspire them to cross the border in search of freedom, Lee Min-bok wrote in his open letter. The group's proposal is said to reflect the collective views of some 34,000 North Korean defectors in South Korea, many of whom are deeply concerned about North Korean troops being sent to Russia. According to An, if North Korean soldiers are captured by the Ukrainian armed forces, his group can persuade them to defect to the South. Most North Korean soldiers, including elite special forces, suffer from food shortages and malnutrition. The soldiers you see on TV parades are hand-picked units. They are the alpha top of the entire population. The former soldier added, Israel achieved all its objectives in its attack against military targets in Iran, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said, while Iranian leaders said the country would respond to the strikes. Israel says it hit 20 military targets Saturday in what it called a limited attack that nonetheless degraded Iranian air defenses and weapons facilities. We have severely struck Iran's defense capabilities and its ability to produce missiles, Netanyahu said Sunday at a memorial for the victims of the October 7, 2023. Hamas attack on Israeli communities near Gaza. The attack on Iran was precise and powerful, achieving all its objectives, Netanyahu said. Due to the Israeli strike, Iran will probably not be able to supply Russia with new ballistic missiles anytime soon. An important consequence of the Israeli strikes on Iran is that Iran will not be able to supply ballistic missiles to Russia for many months until it restores its production capacity. Writes Israeli Middle East expert and Haaretz journalist Anshul Pfeffer in X. In addition, Tehran will no longer be able to supply ballistic missiles to Hezbollah and Houthis terrorists. According to media reports, Israel has disabled 12 installations that are used to produce fuel for ballistic missiles, which make up a significant part of Iran's arsenal. It may take at least a year to produce new installations. Iranian President Masoud Pazeshkian told Iran's Council of Ministers on Sunday that the country will give an appropriate response to the strikes, state media reported. We are not seeking war, but we will defend the rights of our nation and our country, he said. Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, supreme leader of the Islamic Republic, called the strikes a mistake by Israel in its calculation regarding Iran. Israeli Defense Minister Yov Gallant, meanwhile, said the war is being conducted without a clear compass. The significant developments, foremost among them the direct exchanges, increase the need to hold discussions and update the war objectives, he wrote in a letter to the cabinet. A spokesperson for Netanyahu called the letter highly perplexing. Israel's war objectives are constantly reviewed and were even recently expanded, the spokesperson said.
An Israeli military helicopter was seen over southern Lebanon Sunday, as smoke plumes dotted the border where Israel launched a ground invasion earlier this month after nearly a year of almost daily exchange of fire between Hezbollah and Israel. Elsewhere, two Israeli strikes killed eight people in Sidon City in southern Lebanon, with 25 wounded, according to Lebanon's health ministry. One strike hit a residential building, according to footage taken by an Associated Press reporter. The Israeli military said four soldiers, including one from the military rabbinate, were killed in fighting in southern Lebanon, without providing details. It said five other personnel were severely wounded. An explosive drone and a projectile fired from Lebanon wounded five people in Israel, authorities said. What well, is the six? Yeah, this is the, so this is a different sensor, right? It's a, it's a basically the same, really. Yeah. What's the difference?